Previously on Dystopia Posthuman RPG, Akira reported our boss President Saz, who may or may not be an allegory for capitalism. Afterwards, they helped Crow clear out the demons in the sewers. They then used an activity point to choose which of their friends to hang out with before starting their next mission. Unfortunately, Zaz's supposedly benevolent goal of reviving humanity also turned out to be part of his plan to create a human supremacist state and conquer the rest of the world. Alright, going down these la this ladder will advance the story, so let's try to explore places first. Hey Aki, man, you look rough. I do, I'm hanging there. Hey, it's all good, I'm just teasing. What happened last night? I barely remember it other than I had a good time. We had a serious heart to heart. I hope you remember that. What do you mean? I... I chose... Barbados. I do. And afterwards you hung out with one of your friends and drank a lot. Okay, that part was true. I see. Okay. I remember up until I drank a lot. I don't mind taking care of you. You were too drunk to walk straight. I hadn't been in your apartment in a long time. I kind of missed how cozy it was. Relax, Aki. I'm just kidding. Oh, that reminds me. I have a gift for you. Special bonbon. We used to call these pon pon bonbons. I used to make these for my family. It's a little taste of pon pon before you go there, although if you don't want it, please give it to Ed. Be careful, I care about you and I don't want you getting hurt. I heard from Rooney or the state. Thank you for the treat. I'll do my best to stay safe. I'll miss you, so please keep in touch. Au revoir. Goodbye, Rosie. That's definitely a coincidence. Goodbye, little bar, so I'm gonna see you so. Talk. Sorry, I'm a bit busy. Can we chat can we chat once you get back into town? Can I help you with anything? Also, real talk, stay safe. I know that Banshee has hurt a lot of people in Zeta. I would hate to see them hurt you too. To treat us? We have so many homes. Yes, home, uh, homelessness problems persist here. Why do you think that is, Akira? I don't know. Maybe ask your dad. You joke, but it is a problem that has been weighing on me. In my observation, this city appears to be highly inefficient. To treat us, you are at least partially in charge of the city. Sorry. If you require assistance, I am available at a moment's notice. Of course, anything that would help on your mission. I can take your stuff, but do you have anything worth keeping? Hello, I'm already wanting to talk to me again. I hope you have a safe trip, Akira. I'm so glad. Hello, Akira. So, are you all packed up? Sure am. So, from here on out, your name is Bakoto, and you're applying for a librarian job in Pun Pun. You got it, boss. Well, I guess this is a goodbye. I'll be back before you know it. Will you, though? Everything okay? You'll let me know if something happens, right? Specifically, if something happens to you. Of course. Okay, I trust you. Take care, Makoto. All aboard the Silver Bullet. Round trip straight to the kingdom. Oh man. I took off a bunch of people's equipment, but I don't know if it'll be enough. What is this question mark thing anyways? I do not know what it uh, does. And a prologue. Damn it, what if I screwed up already? There's just too ma many things that I feel like require prior knowledge. I'll be lucky if I face even uh, and defeat even one of the angels on this playthrough, huh? I'm currently trained down to Pon Pon Village. That means I probably won't be able to return for a while. I'm feeling a mix of excitement and nervousness. What if I could leave the state forever and live carefree without Zeta Corp? However, I'm concerned about leaving behind everyone I know. Is this selfish? Is it even feasible for me to live a new life? Do I have to make a choice? Chapter 1, The Village of Pon Pon. Save again? What? Uh... A new save point. The duck g g me can still heal you. We're just gonna take a healy for from you when you ask for healing. Gotcha is love. Gotcha is life. Why are you here? In here, gotcha. Why are you in here, gotcha? Wow, you're so mature. Akira, buddy, I'm your biggest fan, and you're my biggest spender. Well, I'll admit the shards you ha have are extremely useful. It's a shame I have to deal with you to get them. Akira, you wound me. Anyway, enough talking. Give me money if you want shards. I do not have enough money at the moment. This is the train. We're not at the village yet.
Whoa, I'm looking- hello, I'm looking for my friend, who I'm pr pretty sure got himself lost somewhere. I hope sure nothing bad happens in this train. I'm sure there's gonna be a boss on this train, or maybe the train itself is a dungeon. This is a train, but it feels like a cruise. It even has stops as if it were a normal train. This idea is really dumb. Flying grass? One fifty mil K. So I do have to dumpster dive. Waiter, I'd like some spaghetti squash, please. I don't work here. Apologies, you had this reliable presence about you. I get that a lot. My name is Ko. I'm an Empire Noble. My name is Makoto, a simple librarian. Interesting. You must have saved up a lot of mil to be on this train. Sure did. I love to stay in chat, but I'm quite hungry. If you see a waiter, please tell them that room number four is ready to order. My girlfriend lives in the kingdom. I finally made enough money to travel there. Being a musician can be so fulfilling, but it sets bills paying into hard mode. Uh, uh. It'll be worth it to see her again, though. But they're they what if they go to war because of the uh, Saz? Smogs were all sorts of mess. I like this mess, though. It may be frightening, but it's very comfy. And people have stopped flooring with me, finally. It's personal pl uh, person playing video games. The game looks scary or cute, you couldn't decide. When I was 17, I left Vulcan Knight for the city. I thought I was going to make it big as an actress. I failed. Then the coup happened and I couldn't go back home. So now I have no job and no home. Life's a bitch, ain't it? I don't think I should go there. Here, have this. Bubble gum. Bubble shield is incredibly useful. It lets you stop damage. Use it wisely. Or don't. I'm a villain after all. Yeah, <laughs> It's a consumable, though. When every 10,000 arc are set up psychic abilities. If I ever met such an individual, well, I really hope I don't. You! You're here. Well, hello there, valued customer TM. I have to hide amongst you. I don't want to be seen as a threat or anything. I can't fight you here, though. Sure, I guess. Demons. Some demons have barrier. They will lose barrier at points before they lose hit points. Some moves are good versus barrier. Look over those. You guard while you have a barrier, you won't lose your guard, so it's a good sh combo that your enemies will use against you. Hmm. I have to hide amongst you. Okay. Train. Hey, this train is pretty nice. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. So there's gonna be a boss here. That's not a threat. Seriously, the mimosas are too good to terrorize this place. Growing up in the kingdom, we've always heard about how amazing the state is. Well, I lived in the state for five years, and I can say those stories are greatly exaggerated. I wonder if everyone just kept saying how great the state was until everyone believed it. It sure is a lot easier to parrot than actually putting effort into making it a better place to live. Yeah, that place kind of sucks. They all have different favorite elements. If a person has a favorite element, they deal effective damage when casting spells with the same element. When you're targeted by your favorite element, you'll also receive reduced damage, but there's also disfavored elements. You also have adverse elements. If they cast a spell from their adverse element, they'll actually deal reduced damage. They'll also take effective damage when targeted by their adverse element. The city sucks. The kingdom sucks. The empire double sucks. They all suck because they played a part in making my country Gaga suck. Hey, what's up? Yeah, okay. Love you too, dad. Hey, were you eavesdropping? I can tell my dad I love him. I don't care if I'm almost 30. You wouldn't happen to have life stones, would you? I'd happily trade you for a shard. Ten, sure. Trade the ten life stones for a rare shard. Neato, thanks. It better be worth it. Hyper Strike. Seems to be about sports, all current ones. Super Bowl, Cage Crushers, and of course competitive moosh tossing. Or I can't let anyone up here. But I am a generous god. You may explore the two tiles to your left. Ah, uh, Akira. Crow, what the heck are you doing here? Also, I'm doing- uh, I'm going by Makoto right now. I'm here because there are two demons on board. There are demons on board? That shouldn't be the case. We can just tame them before they get out of hand. That's what I plan to do. Care to join me? Sure, just a quick bus and we can relax. Crow rejoins the party. Hey, you two shouldn't go in there. It's dangerous. Oh, it's just a top hunter of Zedcorp. Do I really stick out that much? No, I just saw you talking with your lady friend outside the train. My lady friend. Anyway, Crow and I are just here to handle some commotion inside. 
Oh, so we have the same idea. You want to join Kyoto? What are you doing here? I'm going home. Why does it matter, you, you dipple? You two know each other? Yes. Yeah, we've run to each other in the city. He asked me to go on to the sewers with him. I thought he was a creep. I'm sorry, I just needed help with demons. It's fine, but I also learned some tact. Hey, if you two are here, then we can tame to whoever's in there and get on with our crews, yeah? The more the merrier, and I agree that the sooner we're done, the better. Very well. In that case, let me formally introduce myself. My name is Kyoto Ogiso, and my initials being KO is not a coincidence. Join the party? Okay. Botanist. What is over here anyways? The Someone's gotta drive this train. The train is self-driving. I'm just here to play Gacha Impact. Uh... Wait, who's that? Is that an enemy? Shit. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You should have all stayed in your cabins. That's the threat. I'm gonna beat you up for that. Wow, so smart. If you're so smart, how many fingers am I holding up? Return that joke to the middle school where it belongs. We don't have the time for this. I agree. Demons! You may call me Rogue. Later, idiots. Summer Night? Spike is a passive state represented by well, the spikes on the foe. They will reflect physical attacks and that will scale off their defense. Magical moves oh, and moves with safety, ignoring recoil damage. Damn it. Well, I'm guessing you're weak to water anyways. Hmm. So it's... Hotent's my only magic on you. And ho this. Hmm. Is there a way to get rid of Spike easily? Hmm. Bio so And s hope that works. They're almost dead. I just need... One more push. Or not. Hmm. So keep doing this to get more hype, please. Dang, you don't have anything that works on them. Uh, you don't have enough magic that'll work on them, huh? buff my own defenses. That's probably the best thing to do. That way I will take less damage over the course of t uh, beating this guy's butt. Hmm. Aqua bullets would be the next best thing to do, huh? And done. Lifestone and dire fireball. Okay. Kyoto has a choice for a new skill. Hmm. Having another way to in remove enemy buffs would be helpful. But swap life is also good for survivability. Dang it. I feel like enemies are just gonna uh, spam buffs, so even needle. They got away. Shit. Whatever they're playing can't be good. We have to warn the passengers. Why is there a save point right here? I should probably save in a separate slot. Quack is healing. Is Quack healing? I don't know. Well, I'm not gonna use up my heal right here, but I wish it healing was not the first option. That's bad UI-wise, because I don't want to waste my healing resources so quickly. Quack? I don't think that's very funny. Demons, I didn't expect this much action on the train. Oh, well, let's beat them up, team. Okay, leader. Leader? Oh, Ock, you just uh, seem so confident about everything. No worries, I don't mind leading. Yeah. Are they inside the rooms as well? A person that summons demons and isn't a demon themselves. Oh, I see. That's actually a new conversation. I've heard of something like that happening before. Technically, summoning is magic, so anyone could learn it in theory. But because magic is based on emotion, I don't know what emotion could produce that for mortals, or if it's even one's emotion. One emotion. I have to hide amongst you. I don't want to be seen as threat, okay? Nope, it's locked. 
I feel like I should kill these things just so pe uh, the passengers are safer. I don't know. What would be the uh, what what is considered an optimal option? Well, I need to kill these guys for experience and money anyway, so let's just do it. Aqua Rend. I know you're weak to Hotun. Hiya. Ah. This guy has like two health bars. That is kind of annoying. Ugh. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Akira can learn Torrent. Or Grand Regen. Group healing! Yes, please. I already have an AoE water spell anyways. I already have plenty of water sources, so let's just use Grand Regen to heap up the healing. There's still demons on the train. Don't worry, I'll stand here while you deal with the demons. That's all the enemies here. Hmm. Grab that heal. There's a person in the cockpit. Is that what it's called? Please, help the train. I will now move out of the way. So going up here, is there anything up here? There's a, a red enemy. Okay. I might be in trouble if I don't figure out your weakness. Gentle ghost. Core blame me. You killed all my friends. Prepare to be slain. AoE right off the bat? Okay. Well, I'm just gonna use Grand Regen. Yeah, let's see you beat me in a battle of attrition, huh? Wait, do you not have any freaking weaknesses? Dude. Core blimey, kill all my friends, prepare to be slain. Not good. Hmm. They're faster than me too. So I'm not gonna be able to get a second hit at all. Bio, please. Oh my goodness. Blinded. It didn't remove blind. It's a lie. Sometimes some of these skill descriptions are totally lies. Hmm. Okay. Benny. Ow. Oh. 
Perseline. Starting to deal a little damage. Yeah, draining your intellect helps a little bit. Nope. Seriously. Giving us an enemy with no weaknesses whatsoever is kind of cheap, don't you think? Corbot- okay. Seriously, they have a constant hype because I can't hit their weakness at all. Like, what- who does- why was this enemy approved? This seems really bad. What? why that deal so much damage? Are they actually- It's actually weak to- they do have weaknesses, it's just that they don't show it, or is it- No, a crit might give me height. I don't know what happened back there, but whatever. Oh boy. Shark bite. Damn. Okay, Mesh inflicts some kind of overgrowth on you. So now you are even more ham boned. I hope. Shark Bite, you are almost dead. Guess I'll die alone! Haha! -ha. It was a tough battle, but I managed to come out on top. Gentleman's Soul? Deluxe Herb? Null Number Shard? What? That sounds like it could cause a glitch or something. Removes all buffs from foes. Cooldown 1? That's Isn't that really good? Huh. Echo Stone. Yes, I need that, actually. Short Ticket. I can use that at the gacha machine. Rare Bonbon. I'm so good. This, I remember you from the city. But why are you here? Well, whatever. We killed the optional enemy there. Now there's just a boss in the cockpit. Sup? Why are you doing this? I'll give you one reason. Middle finger. That's not even clever. I just can't understand what you're doing. Where are you looking to get out of this? Just turn back, Akira. There's nothing for you in Pon Pon. My name is Makoto. You're a freaking hunter. People are going to know who you are. Probably should have put into better disguise. That moniker is maybe passable on some tundra's hicks, but people are going to know who you are. Someone must live in Pon Pon. Why am I not allowed in? If you don't want to talk, then there's no reason we shouldn't kill you. After all, out of context, their actions are irrational and dangerous. Final chance. Turn back and I'll call off the demons. It's for your own good. No can do. We're enemies now. I suppose I'll have to get used to that. Enough being cryptic, nerd. We're gonna kick your ass. Three versus one, huh? Doesn't seem too fair. I'm gonna call for help. Is that a Zodiac Demon? Now we're ready to fight. You're kidding me! He'd actually team up with a Zodiac. The fun ends here. Surge. How am I supposed to beat such a foe? Hmm. Wave Slash. Shark Bite.
Hmm. Aqua Balls did nothing? Kidding me. Move twice? Damn, you're kidding me. Damn it, they know I'm weak to fire on Kyoto. I got the leaf to buff on you. No. Tim. Bloodberry went down. I discovered more of the Archdemon's weaknesses than uh, the ninjas. However, with this kind of information, it's only a matter of time. I hold the advantage here. Ignis seems like a bad idea against you. Snipe also kind of sucks. Bio. Yo, yo, you're, you actually took a ton of damage just from the AOEs while I was trying to kill the ninja guy. The heck? Water is useless against you. I'm gonna use Grand Regen. I don't like my odds right now. You're weak to tree damage. V Reaper. Yes, we have the momentum. Ha ha. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna use Coda Farms just for the defense. There. Bio is still my best choice here. Enough DOT. Let's see. I don't think Akira has anything that's actually good against you, is there? Just Shark- no, Shark Bite is good against you because it's part bleed. So if I use this, it should be able to deal massive damage. Haha. -ha. Easy. Sort of. Well, at, once I got rid of the ninja guy, it was a lot easier. Because the ninja, I did not discover any weaknesses for. I might not even have any weaknesses available to exploit with my current setup. But I had just the, uh, but I had everything I needed to easily beat the archdemon. I probably should have went for the archdemon first. I don't know. Side of fries, steam claw shard. That'll deal both water and fire damage, huh? Hmm. Well, shit. You have one last chance to explain yourself or perish. I have a better idea. Jump out the window. Later. I guess we'll see them again. 
a reoccurring boss? Don't tell me this person's gonna team up with every Zodiac demon, but did we get this Zodiac stone for that demon? Looks like we have an enemy, Akira. Just who was that guy? I have a few theories. I've been preparing to face one of them myself. I knew traveling with you would pay off. Face them? Don't tell me some kind of evil cult that worships the demons. Makoto. No, Akira. Um, yes? We need to talk. Please see me before we arrive at Pon Pon. I would also like to speak to you when you have time. Find me in the diner area. I burst. I'm gonna steal all your stuff, just so you know. If Once I get the chance. Oh, wait. No, you're still- you're still in my party. Huh. These men only control a ship. Looks a bit dusty. Makoto, what can I do for you, Crow? What do you think of that rogue character? I thought they were weird and destructive. They clearly didn't care who got hurt and they did just to get to me. They did. It could be troubling. I think they're working for Rooney. Zeta Corp being on your back is one thing, but I fear rogue is another factor at play. Ah, oh, shit. Shit is right. I should stay by your side for a bit longer, which means I'll be following you into Pon Pon Village. Always glad to have you by my side. You're a weird small, Crow. You say such weird things for a person you barely know. Hey, you said something weird that barred me. I've been preparing to face one of them myself. I knew traveling with Makoto would pay off. Yes, I did say that. What is your angle, Crow? I like you, Akira, and I hope we get along, but my aim is for the Zodiac Stones. I want them to be out of the hands of any major power. Be it the state or empire. So our relationship is just professional, a professional one. Not quite. I do enjoy your company. You're not a Zeta Corp bootlicker, and you've helped me out more than once. I consider you a friend. Did we actually get a Zodiac Stone from that demon, or do we have to fight cancer again? I think I consider you a friend too, even though the premise of our friendship is weird. I'm just glad we're on the same page. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a bit. Everything okay? It's because everything is okay that I want to be alone. See you around. Don't worry, the train is self-driving. I don't have a walking animation, so I'd like to be here for a while. I'm glad you saved my train. Now I can return to my post in peace. Good thing I grabbed everything on that side of the train. If I didn't, uh, if I wasn't strong enough to beat that enemy, it would not. Be, I wouldn't be able to get that, those items, huh? I'm not strong enough to fight demons, and I always thought the stones were pretty. You saved the cruise train. Thanks. Thank you for saving the train. Now I have a story to tell my bro when I get home. Thank you so much, Makoto. You've saved the train. Hey, thanks for saving us, dudes. Next time my band has a show, uh, next time my band has a show, you'll get VIP tickets. Thank you all for taming those demons and and taking care of the terrorists. Taming? We're not killing. I like their mask and their scarf. It's a very Empire look. They're from the Empire. Since they look ninja-like, maybe were they like from a? Uh, from the Smog Empire? Thank you for saving a train. I almost thought I wasn't going to make it. I had all these famous and inspiring death quotes ready. Thank you for saving us. Now I have more life in me to scheme. Yeah, ha <laughs> These demons are causing a lot of trouble. Thank goodness you were all here. Then again, if you weren't here, that terrorist wouldn't be here either, so... How do you know that? Thank you all for taming those demons. I won't forget this. Now I just have to lose all the trauma I've obtained this trip. Thank you all so much. This is my second chance. I won't, uh, 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 so I won't waste it. Hey, thanks for making things a little less suck a little less. Tacos, gauntlet. I'm guessing you left this here for me. Hello, Akira. Kyoto, please. It's Makoto. No, I know what you're planning to do, and I can't let you do it. Excuse me. I know Miss Rooney personally, and you're pretty cool too. I know you're after her Zodiac. I don't get much information as a hunter, but I know enough to assemble pieces. So either you can try to kill her, or she will kill you. I don't want either to happen. Rooney is very special to me. I thought she, uh, but we heard bad things about her from Rosie. You've convinced me. I won't kill anyone. Wait, j just like that? Yep, I never plan to kill Rooney, nor do I want her stone. It can't be that easy. This is a one-way trip. I'm not returning to Zaya City. I'm tired of being used. I want to lay low, and hopefully they'll roll my mission as a failure. I mean zero. I mean zero harm to Rooney, you or anyone else in Pon Pon. What about your tracker? I need to find a way to get rid of it somehow. If what you say is true, I think my dad can help you out with your tracker. He was able to take mine out, so he should be able to take yours. You do that for me? I mean, you're just trying to run away, aren't you? Pon Pon is full of expats. It's kind of like an escape from the Empire, Vulcanite, and even a kingdom. 
So if you're telling the truth, you're welcome to live there. Rooney wants more people in their town anyway. I'm t I am telling the truth, I promise. I promise. I'm sure Rooney can confirm my intentions too. Wait, how did you know about that? I had a tip from her sister. Don't worry, Zaycorp doesn't quite know that. I see. I'm choosing to believe you. I'll talk to my dad when we get a pun pun. Don't let me down, Aki. I'll live up to your expectations. I'm going to make sure the passengers are okay, but I'll be around, and I'll walk with you to Pon Pon when we get there. And I guess I'll walk with Crow too. There, Aki. Usually I only like my close friends to call me Aki, but I don't mind what Kyoto does. Uh-oh. Akira, is everything okay? Eliza, the mission is going pretty smoothly, but I need to make a report. There was an assassin that was specifically looking for me. Do you have any intel? Their motivations were cryptic. What, are you okay? Yeah, I made it out alive. The other person ran away, though. I was just curious if you might know anything about it. I will ask the president about it. Does the president need to know about this? Of course, if there's someone putting you the mission in danger, I want to see what options we have to assist you. I see. I'm responsible for your safety. And if it means we have to make a retreat, I'll make the call. I'll take the hit of confidence if it means you make it back alive. Everything is fine, Eliza. I'll take it easy as soon as I get into town. Make the report. Okay. Goodbye, Eliza. Goodbye, Akira. Please be safe. Can't call her and let her know that I'm, uh, what I'm up to, but I care too much about her not to say for a while. I can't keep in contact with her. She's way too close to the president. They probably already know. An assassination attempt, you say? Yes, that's what Akira said over the phone. I'll check with Vulcanite leadership to ensure we're not dealing with foreign powers. Akira isn't supposed to die until after they get to Pon Pon. After? Sir, I didn't know what that, that was part of the plan. Of course you didn't. You would have opposed it. Akira declined to join Zaya, but the Zodiacs are showing interest in them, which poses a threat. The plan is for Akira to provide us with as much info on the person holding the Gemini Stone and burn their village to the ground. Burn to the ground? How do you we know this, uh, what stone she has? I thought we weren't able to figure it out. Liza, please. That's not important right now. You spent weeks planning for Akira to play spy, but your method was too time-consuming. And why was it approved? We are going to make Akira's death public. We'll tell the public how they died valiantly in their mission. All this publicity about Kale's death seems to be good, so why not weaponize it? And justice will be our rationale for burning down a neighboring territory. Of course, in reality, Akira's death and the raising of Panpan will happen on the same day. We'll feed it to the public piecemeal. It will likely have support from the masses. A cold-hearted killer murdered everyone's favorite impoverished hunter for a third time. The thing about grassroots types like Akira is that if they are not dealt with accordingly, they'll turn populist. So you see them as a political rival, they're just doing their job. Not being affiliated with Zayacorp is the same as being anti Zayacorp. No one can have Akira's popularity and be anti Zayacorp. It's too dangerous. And you want me to sell this story? Of course, that's what you're good for. And this is why I didn't tell you. I know how you feel about Akira. Frankly, it's disgusting. However, as my faithful assistant, I will personally purchase the affection of any smog, Volcoro, or Arctra in the city to fill that hole in your heart. I'll buy you any number of companions. That's how much your loyalty means to me. Yes, sir. Excellent. Tell Barbados he departs for Pon in the week. Dang it, I... I freaking increased your link level, you jerk! Not Barbados, sir. He would put the mission in danger. Barbados is effectively the number one hunter, and I want someone who would burn that village down without question. Despite not being the most organized individual, his level of obedience and willingness to follow instructions is something I highly value in an asset. Speaking of obedience, we will monitor your calls to Akira from now on. It's not within my abilities to predict your emotions towards them, so I'll sever it. Yes, sir. Good, now if you'll excuse me, I have to work on the treatise. Eliza, if this isn't business related, I don't have time right now. I'm sorry. In other words, I didn't know about the plan either. I don't believe you. I spent weeks playing safety measures so Akira could gather intel. I looked through several candidates, and it's all gone down the toilet. It's disrespectful to my time and our resources. Killing Akira, my feelings aside, is a stupid decision. I think I need a drink. You're typically not this emotional, though I don't mind the side of you. Perhaps you need some time to sort your feelings out. Let me know if you need anything. I'm just a phone call away. If you don't find someone to reciprocate your feelings, you could always rely on me to cheer you up. Thanks, Akari. Take her, Eliza. Don't tell me she's gonna go Yandere.
This is our stuff. Are we ready for Pun Pun? So ready. Ready for anything. The plan is to lay low, make friends, and hopefully get rid of my tracker. Plan B is to book it if Pun Pun fails. Well, I'm hoping Plan A works, and I'll have your back since I'm making you fail your mission. You didn't make me do anything, Kyoto. As I said, I never meant Pun Pun harm. You do wing a lot of your plans. They work out most of the time. Let's get going, gang. Crap, does that mean I lost my chance to fight that guy in, in Zeta? Because I feel like there was no way I could possibly win that, even if I... Uh, 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 at all. We're having Pon Pon. The mission is turning out to be a complete failure since Kyoto would completely foil me. Luckily, I never intended to complete this mission, so I, we had a common goal. The only thing in my way right now is Rooney's reaction to this whole thing. I hope she didn't need a librarian. I got a deal for you. Ferdy? Trade for your life zones for a red shard. Pleasure. That was abrupt, but it better be worth it. Cadacious. Okay. Are these two just gonna be permanent party members? Since they're not affiliated with Zeta Corp. I don't know. If I rejoin Zeta Corp, will these two just ditch completely? Thank you for rescuing us, Bell person and crew. Me? Oh, I'm taking a rest here. Too much action for one lifetime. I mean, if you had more defense or resistance, I'd have a gift for you, but you wouldn't make good use of it. Seriously? I have plenty of defense and resistance. Maybe I'll have to come back at a later time. Alright, thanks to, uh, thanks to, uh, thank you for saving us back there. Even true gacha grits like myself need some R&R. Hello, welcome to the call bot. Best place to, place to call people. For a small charge of 1,000 mil, you can call anyone anywhere. Promotion, hunters call for free. Maybe I should come back when I have more time. Where the heck is the save point? Seriously. Chase! Yo, Kyoto, I see you have a couple of friends with you. Hi, Chase. Man, it's been a heck of a train ride, let me tell you. You can tell me all about it in town. Hello there, you two. May I have the pleasure of knowing your names? I'm Chase, a security personnel in charge in this area. My name is Crow. A pleasure to meet you. I was a former citizen of the state. Former? Yes, I suppose that makes me an expat. Yep, I met Crow in ZSC. He's a little weird, but he is friendly. God, I just want to make sure. What about you, with the scarf? I'm a smog who recently got hired as a librarian. Oh, what coincidence that you were on the same train as Kyoto. Your name is Makoto, right? Well, let's get into town. I'll explain everything there. Yeah, it's a long story. All right, I'll take you take your word for it. You all must be cold, so let's get moving. It's my house, but first I want to report to Rooney. Welcome to Pine Pine, the most welcoming place in Tundras. Well, well, we're second or third, but we're up there. The small community in Pine Pine is amicable. If you ever miss the food from home, we have a shared recipe book that you're more than welcome to borrow. Hello. I hope you enjoy your stay in Pon Pon. We could always use more people. Rooney is a great host, and she takes great pride in that. You should, you'll feel right at home. This looks like a Vulcanite building. We should move onward. Pon Pon is spread out. This is where most buildings are concentrated. My dad works here, but we should talk to Rooney first. Quack, I hope you're doing well. Are those healing? Okay, good. Hey, newbie, I'm just waiting for my girlfriend to get off work. I passed the time by saying, saying some pre-recorded stuff on my voice recorder. I can say the same thing over and over again with no trouble. Go ahead and talk to me again to see if it works. Oops, it's out of batteries. Come to my shop, or don't. Mika. My friend Mika works here. She's pretty cool. Hello. Welcome to Pond Pond Village, guys. Enjoy your stay and stay in the store as long as you like. Success is a culmination of controlling failure. Come have a chat with me sometime. Come on, she's like right there. It'll take like two seconds. Rooney. It was the opposite of safe. We were attacked. Mandu, what happened? We got attacked by some creep named Rogue. Luckily, I had these two friends to help me out. Hello, I am Crow. You must be the village leader I've heard so much about. That's me, the mayor of Pon Pon. My name is Rooney Jirami. I watch over this cozy village. 
Doing introductions, are we? My name is Edgar Jarami. As you might have guessed, Rooney and I are related. Hi, Ed. You two should try his cooking. It's out of this world. I'll take the, any excuse to cook for friendly folks. I'll make something extra delicious for tonight. Ed, that's a surprise, silly. Oh, uh, forgot I said anything. Crow, is it? I like your outfit. What brings you here? I'm currently fleeing Zeta. I see you want to escape the sea. Well, we have plenty of room here. Please make yourself at home. Come to me if you need anything. I also bartend occasionally, so I'm your girl if you need a drink. I appreciate the offer, but I don't drink. No worries, I can make excellent non-alcoholic drinks too, especially hot cocoa and tea. If that's the case, I wouldn't mind drinking a nice warm beverage and reading a book or two. I like this one. You reminds me of Gams. What the? Did she teleport? You must be Makoto. Or is it Akira? It's Akira. I have a lot to explain. Why did her sprite disappear? Is this is a glitch? Ultimately, I'm just like Crow. I'm fleeing Zeta. You don't have to pose for jobs again to Pon Pon. Now you've put me in an awkward position. I told you, Aki, you can't hide anything from her. Whoa. If you want, I can leave here. I just needed to leave the sea. And I didn't mean any harm. Thank you very much. Why don't you come to my office and we can talk about what to do with you? Roger that. I'm sure we'll get things sorted out. Don't worry, Aki. She seems scary, but she's really nice. She is concerned about Zayacorp. She was nothing but nice to me. Yeah, well, lucky you, Crow. But Rosie... Uh, uh, what happened between her and Rosie? Hey, just a heads up. Rooney tends to make interesting faces. So if she makes a weird face, don't be alarmed. It's something we're working on. Why don't you go uh, talk to Rooney? I cannot leave. I really hope there's a place I can conveniently grind against respawnable enemies. Whoa, I can't even save, huh? You should go to Rooney's office. You don't want to keep her waiting, do you? Damn. Completely railroaded. Bonjour. Welcome to my library. You must be my new replacement. Not quite. Oh good, I don't want to retire, but my granddaughter keeps pushing the issue. Interesting. She can be overprotective, but you just have to let her know your boundaries. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Thank you. What is her name? My name is Roni. Yours? Akira. What a nice name. You let me know if you want to read a book or get some tea. Our library has a nice collection and you'll find books here you wouldn't anywhere. Thank you, Roni. I'll be sure to check getting them out. Anytime, dear. What the? That's my room, dearie. I'd appreciate it if you didn't go in. Of course. That's Ed's room. He doesn't want anyone to see his room. He has the tendency to leave his swords onto the floor. Aren't, you, aren't flash spells awesome? Well, but you might want to think twice about using them. Every spell you cast that's not your first spell has decays per spell you cast, so your next spell is not going to be hitting at spell value. What? In fact, you can even go as low as 40% of the original spell value. Wild. Unless you're playing easy mode, in which case spells have no decay, and you can party rock till the heat death of the universe. Hello. I'm here to help organize books. I can also pass any condiments you may need. Warning, not use condiments on books. That's an empty room. I think your friend might be moving in there soon. Oh, but don't tell Irun I told you that. Oh, height chart. My family grew up in this house. We used to measure our height when we were little. Unfortunately, I never caught up to my siblings. I'm also a foot short of Ned. That's the moosh I made. I've heard that hobbies can really help lower your stress and anxiety. But it turned out so bad, I can't help but feel sorry for it. Those are my siblings and I. Looking at this always makes me feel nostalgic. It's a vampire plant. There's a note. It says from Kyoda. Play a game I sent you and you'll understand why we, we Dracula is so funny. Hey, silly, that's my room. I'm right here. It's really walking into someone else's room without asking, you know? Hey you, I heard you talking to Grandma downstairs. Hey yourself, I, I was. Rodney is a very sweet woman. The job posting was because I wanted her to retire and get some new people in Pon Pon, but that's not happening sadly. That's my fault, I'm sorry for that. It seems Rodney doesn't want to retire though. I know, but she can only reach the top shelf with Edgar's help, and she has fallen a few times. I worry about her. Anyway, that's a topic for another day. I'm glad you came to my office. No problem, I wanted to clear the air between us. 
then we are on the same page. You gotta get that trekker removed. Or waste your danger to the village. Well, I want to... Uh, I want to know what the state knows about me. All Kyo said was I'm a high priority target. Where Hunter Rank needs to be hired to get more info. So number one, uh, spill the beans. Here's what they told me. Your name is Rooney. You've killed two hunters in cold blood and have an unidentified zodiac zone. It's true, I did kill two hunters, but I resent the implication that it was in cold blood. So you did kill Kale. Does that bar you? Kale was a good friend of mine. I see. I'm sorry, I wasn't given the choice. I don't blame you. I blame the state and its obsession with obtaining power through these silly stones. I was never here for blood. Akira, this is so funny to me. Wait, what? Didn't you remember your promise to Rosie? You're embarrassing. Sorry, but you can't just apologize in your, your terms and leave. If you run into a woman named Rooney, don't engage with her. I felt that in my head. Well, I do. I must have made one of my weird faces again. I'm sure Rosie told you about how I am an expert. I haven't gotten a good scan of you because of it. Subconscious mental barriers and junk like that. It feels intrusive. Please don't do that again. It's fine. I know now know what I need to know. My sister Rosie and I are not in speaking terms, but you clearly mean a lot to her. For this, I accept your terms of peace. You're free to stay here as long as you like. Um, thank you. Come by the bar later tonight. I'll make you and Crow some excellent drinks. Akira does drink, correct? Or was that a Makoto thing? Yeah, I may pass. The trucker is my priority. That's a shame. Rain check on the free drink, then. Well, I have to get ready, so take care. Say hi to all the townsfolk. Please get to know them. Au revoir, Aki. There's, but we might have to fight. What's his face? Barbados. What the hell was that? I hope she doesn't call me Aki again. Vampire plant. Hmm. I don't want to disturb her or be around her right now. Hello there, Akira. Hi, Rune. I thought about it and I think I could use a tea. Of course, let me get it ready for you. Grandma Roni's chamomile tea. Sorry, but they're, they're dangerous demons past this point, and I want to make sure they're as far away as possible. R Rooney's orders. Hmm, instead of a librarian, maybe you could sign up as a town guard. I need to introduce myself. My name is Daisuke. What's your real name? It's Akira. Sharing names is the foundation of trust. Sorry, I'm a bit busy right now. We can talk tonight during the party. Pun Pun is spread out. This is where most buildings are concentrated. The small community in Pun Pun is amicable. If you ever miss a food from home, we have a shared recipe book you're more than welcome to borrow. Hmm. You look pretty tired, buddy. I've been getting that a lot. Have you tried sleeping? Nope, not even once. You must be new here. Our mayor is a kind lass, but since the agents keep coming to Pun Pun, she's been a bit on edge. Just don't take it personal. I'm probably to get you for the day. I have no teeth, but I can still taste. Trust me on this. Welcome to the general store. My name is Mika. Hello, Mika. My name is Akira. Ah, newbie, huh? Yup, I'm one of the two newbies. It'd be nice to have a new face in the town. There are only a few people left here. Our population is primarily old folks, and well, they tend not to stick around, if you get what I mean. Well, I don't know how long I'll be here. Oh, that's a shame. If you decide to stay, you should go to Snake Eyes, and it's one of the, uh, as it's one of the only f fun things to do in town. Yeah, there's supposed to be a party in my uh, in the Art Newbie's honor. Are you going? I haven't decided yet. I see. You probably came here for a sh shop stuff, huh? Let's get to that. Hello, welcome to sh Shoppy. Can I help you with anything? How's life? Great. Any deals? Yeah, just ask to see what I have. I have nothing in the back, so don't even ask. Kyoda? She's dope. As far as people go, she's at least top seven. Although, she needs to return my anime. Vampires, truckers, too. This time without clothes. It's a rock opera epic that has immaculate animation. You can really see the vampires smoothly thrust and truck with each other. Rooney. She's really lovely. She's like the bi best big sister ever, which is fine because she's the youngest in her family. She's a little icy towards newbies, but that wears off pretty soon. Apparently, uh, she's one of the rare psychics in uh, of her species. Edgar. That guy's hilarious. If I wasn't taken, I would. No bar telling my BF. He agrees and would too. I'm good. Cool beans. I help you. Okay. Speed. I think that would be really good for the boat to nest because she needs speed in order to do the double attack thing. I think I'm just gonna be better off waiting for an opportunity to grind before doing any more shopping. This is this honestly looks pretty bad. 
in terms of my financial situation. It's a TV. It looks pretty old. Instead of buttons or dials. It's a family-friendly console. Hey there. Hey, hey, it's Akira Sakimoto. I heard that smog was a huge ch uh, chode. Gotcha, not again. We're just inseparable. Two, two babies in a pod. No one says that. You want to buy some shorts, buddy? Of course. Why do you think I put up with you? What sweet ninja? See if you can get those sh sweet rose shorts, you dopamine addicted footstool. That's the second time you called me that. What? Iron Gauntlet, okay. The clinic. Dr. Sandoz behind me if you wanted to speak with him. But you didn't need my permission or anything. I'm just a cool nurse. Ellipses. Yeah, I think I have to talk with you to advance the story because Sandoz is probably the one who's going to remove the tracker. Hey, Dipshit, I'm trying to sleep. Is this a jail cell? The heck? This is my house. My dad and I live here. Make sure yourselves at home, but... I appreciate it if you guys didn't go into my room. It's kind of me messy. Hey, Kyoda. Do you have a vampire truckers too? Mika wants it back. Yeah, Akira, not so loud, okay? Why? What's wrong with it? Well, I don't want you to judge me for it. I'm not judging you. It's just an anime, right? Akira, it's not just an anime. It's an eroge. It shows the dangers these vampires face every day as they truck and find love. I'm just gonna go get it. Tell Mika thank you for letting me borrow it, and sorry I kept it for so long. Can't do, Kyoda. Is that her room? That's my room, the one I asked you not to go into. That's Chase's room. She moved in basically a week after she arrived. That's Sad's room. He really uses it, though. He's mostly out at the hospital or his boyfriend's house. He's always a few houses down, so it feels like he's always within walking distance. Luna's. That guy's an asshole. I wouldn't go near him. He's a murderer, you know. What? I don't think he's dangerous right now. Seems like that, uh, that murder really got to him, so he just rots, asking if we're brave enough to kill him yet. Is he the guy in the jail cell? I don't see why not, personally. He adds very little value to Pon Pon. I know it's messed up to think like that, but I mean, come on. So, we, so Lunas was the guy in the jail cell. Because I talked to him, he got added to the conversation list. Kyoda. Hey, thanks, Akira. I've been itching to watch this. Is that it? I was hoping I got a deal out of it. The secret shop is open, so... Yeah, I just to see what I have. The secret shop is open. And he gave me back my porn, so I guess you can see what's in the back. Too, I'm too poor to buy anything. Mika's charm is ridiculous. Double some mill you earned. That's actually really good. Sword of Heroes? I do not know anyone who can equip that, so let's hold off. Okay, please remove my tracker. Hello, hello. Father. Kyoto, I'm glad you're home safe. Me too, Dad. And who are these people behind you? This is Crow. He's a hobo. Pleasure to meet you, Doctor. And the other smog is Akira. Hello. Dad, I need a favor. Can you remove Akira's tracker? Oh my, they must be a hunter then. Ex-hunter, soon, hopefully. I can remove the tracker whenever you are ready. You'll have to stay overnight, though. No worries, I don't have anywhere to be anyway. I guess they're not going to the celebration. Nah, that's a shame. I'll let Rooney know, but I bet she'll be bummed. A party sounds nice, but let her know I'll do a rain check. This takes precedence. Fine. If it's what you want, you'll hear no complaints from me. Stop guilt-tripping Akira, Kyoda. Shut up, nerd. I'll kick your ass. Kyoda? Oh, uh, sorry, Crow. Apology accepted. For now. Anyway, speak to me again when you're ready for the procedure. I'm just guessing something bad will happen the moment I agree. It might give the uh, the uh, uh, Barbados time to invade the village. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Dystopia. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.